So let's get the debris out of this here. It's going to tilt your head just that way. Perfect. Yeah, it's a very narrow entrance here. Mm. Got some split edge now. <laughs> you can get a gag reflex sometimes. You've got some nerves at the base of the ear canal which can get stimulated by <laughs> suction or pressure. <laughs> if you want a glass of water, let me know, okay? So I'm just going to use the finer instrument, because as I said, even getting access into it is quite difficult, it's so narrow. <laughs> That's all right, no, don't bother, guys. <laughs> Just getting layer and layer of this dead skin out of your ear. You want a glass of water or are you okay? Sorry? Would you like a glass of water or are you okay? <coughs> okay. <coughs> you are doing really well. This ear is infected, I can actually smell the infection on this side. <coughs> so once we remove as much debris as we can, we'll get you referred back to your doctor. See, I'm, I am working on the eardrum now, so if it does get uncomfortable, let me know. Yeah. You're doing really well. so you should be hearing a bit better on this side already, because I've got a lot of the, the majority of the debris out. Yeah, it's just very difficult ear because it's so narrow. Uh, so the narrow and they dip as well, right? They do, yeah. So, just being very cautious. I've been told that a number of times. <laughs> okay. Let's keep that nice and still. Well done. Just working near the entrance to get a bit of debris off. Mm -hmm. So then if was it must be a bit tender as well because of slightly inflamed and infection. Let me just see if there's any more I can get off the eardrum safely. But it's quite smelly, I can actually smell the acidity now.
There's just a little bit left at the top of the eardrum, which I'm going to try and remove. Mm -hmm. There is still some coat in the ear canal wall, but that's just not vacuuming. It's really stuck. Um, when you get drops of the doctors, that should help with that. It's slightly wet at the top of the eardrum. Let's see if I can remove that. How are you feeling? All right. Yeah, that's fine. good. You're doing so well. I don't know if I could be as still as you. If someone's that far in my ear. I'm <laughs> oh, just interested all the, all the sounds. <laughs> <laughs> They're not the most soothing, are they? No, that's true. A lot of people say it's like it sounds like a fireplace crackling. It's so difficult getting access. Just going to bend my tube to just, you've got a bit of dead skin near the front part of the ear canal, but deep, and you've got a bend there, so I'm trying to get around that bend. Uh -huh. So let's see if I can get access to that now. found that a bit uncomfortable that last bit didn't you? Yeah. Last one more go at it, yeah. if not I'm going to leave that. Right in the top corner. Yeah, I think we should leave that last bit, I can feel you twitch a bit as well. I can see the eardrum. I've got most of the infection off, so when you do use the drops now, they'll be more effective. Uh -huh. With all that debris, when you use the drops, the debris is going to absorb that. It's not going to resolve the underlying issue. Um, so I'm really happy with that. You should be hearing a lot better. I don't want you to wear the right hearing aid because it's definitely still a bit of an active infection there. It's very, uh, I, can, it's, I can get that olfactory, olfactory evidence from it. It's very smelly. Bit acidic. Uh, your left side's fine, it's your right side that uh, we want to avoid you wearing any hearing aids, getting water in your ear. Just want your ear to breathe, allow natural air inside. Okay. And yeah. I'll get your doctor's details and I'll write them a letter. And um, if you can book an appointment straight away anyway. Yeah. Okay. How are you feeling? Okay, so yes, um, go back to the doctor and ask for some more yeah. ear drops. Yeah.